All right, so today we're gonna do some more maintenance on our McLean. Um, I was mowing the other day and the belt that controls you know, these drive wheels back here popped off the tracks. Uh, so I realized in order to put it back on, I have to disassemble this. So while I'm disassembling it, I figured, hey, let's change out those tires and put some new ones on there. So today we're going to be reinstalling that chain and putting some new tires on. Let me show you what we need to do. Pretty much, if you see a nut or a bolt back here, we've got to disassemble it. Um, anything I would say from, from the uh, body here on down, if we see those, we got to disassemble it. So these two, these guys here, these guys here, and then I think you may be able to see some on this actual uh, cylinder cauldron as well. We're gonna have to take those out. Um, not a big deal. Oh yeah, there's a uh, cotter pin holding this in. So we'll take that cotter pin out as well with our needle nose pliers. So it's really not that big of a deal at the end of the day. Um, we're gonna just take these off, slip everything apart. Um, then we're gonna, um, by the time we get to that point, what you're gonna see is these tires really just sit on a, uh, a metal tube. So we're gonna slide those tires off the tube. Then we're gonna put the new tires back on and reassemble. Um, it's just kind of making sure that you're comfortable with um, dealing with putting on nuts and bolts, but that's really about it. Nothing too complicated. I've seen on some videos that this process can take anywhere up to an hour. Um, so I'll also validate that for you guys today. Um, and we'll see if it takes us that long. Wheel is off. So we just came across problem number one, and as you've noticed with most of my videos, we never really get these projects done in one day. So like I was showing you, the chain is broken, and you can kind of see it's, it's missing a chunk that holds it together, so that's why it keeps slipping off the track. Makes common sense, um, but we're gonna make the most of our time and we're still gonna go ahead and replace all of these drive wheels so that I can show you how that gets done. Okay, so this is our current wheel setup as is. The first thing that we're gonna have to do is take these bolts out. What you'll see is that there's three rods that run completely uh, through that cylinder that hold uh, these gears in place. So we need to be careful as we take this apart because I've heard that there's some washers on this side, the gear side. Uh, so we wanna be careful as we take this apart that we do not lose those. Here's one of those rods I was telling you about and what it looks like. Okay, all those are out. As you can see, like we heard on other videos, there's some washers that fell out of this plate attachment. They are going to sit, and you can see this needs to be cleaned. They're gonna sit right where those pipes went through and they sit in between. So now we have our cauldron with our tires on them and look, 
I think these are just gonna slip right off. These aren't on there very securely. Okay, and just so you know, we started at 11.56. It's now 12.10, so we're on a good pace right now. These are our new tires. We're gonna get these on here. I've heard that you can run some difficulties with getting them on, <laughs> that you may need a warm soapy bucket of water, or you may need to heat these up some sort of way. I've heard of people putting them in the sun so that they expand for an hour um, or I've heard of folks putting them in a microwave or an oven or something like that but uh, we may go the warm soapy bucket water out just because I don't want to risk it by putting them in the oven why I say that I have two kids that are napping right now, so I don't want to get distracted while these are in there and forget about them. This came to us, we've used this vendor before, Golden West Lawnmowers. They brought us these products again today. So thank you, Golden West Lawnmowers. All right, so the first thing I want to try is people have claimed that these are hard to put on. So let's test it out. I can tell this is gonna be a little tight. Now, look at that. That one slipped fairly easily on. Let's try the next one. You do want to be careful about the uh, ring of that cylinder there. That you don't hurt yourself with it when you're slipping these on. Look at that. It's fairly even. I may just take my rubber mallet, tap that in a little bit, but I'd say we're pretty good. Pretty good. All right, I mean, that's 1214. That means that took me four minutes to put those on. It's not that bad. Let's try to reassemble these other little pieces we had now. Put this back together. Okay, so when we're putting this back together, our pulley our chain is actually gonna sit on here. So we wanna make sure that we have room for the chain to go around without rubbing up against the tire. So we want to think of these as two saucers, like flying saucers, like this, right? You got your tops and then they slope downward, right? But we're going to put them head to head, like so. Now the chain has room to go around that way without rubbing on the tires. But remember, we want to put our washers on. I could set all of the washers on the top, then lay the other piece, this black piece, on top of that. Sorry, it goes like this like a bowl on top of it, and then try to thread each of these um, supporting rods back through, but that may get difficult as the washers slide around. So I'm taking a different approach. I'm coming at it from the bottom on two of the holes, and I'll set this washer on. I'll then set this piece on top of it. So then I'll take our third rod and stick it in the correct way, all right? And then, now that I have two in there, we'll just kind of keep going around in circles. We'll take one of these upside down ones out and we'll put it in. Now we've got two in. Now we'll take the other upside down one out, put it in. And then set that on top. Beautiful. All right, so now that's set on, we're gonna tighten these back up.
we're gonna run our support back through. side where the chain went we had this little washer that popped off it just sits here on the outside like so and now we'll just loosely put all this back together why I say loosely is you know once again we're missing um, missing the chain chain broke on us so we're gonna have to get that fixed we should be able to at least see what this is gonna look like So real quick, I got the chain back on. Um, I just used the one that's broken for right now. But what I wanted to show you is you can see right here, this is the broken one. I just made it so that the inside, the part that's still good, is up against the tire, so it's less likely to slide out this way. Um, that way I can order a new chain and maybe I can still get a few cuts in. But like I said, we just temporarily put this bolt on and put these on, um, just kind of hold everything into place. We're we push this back and forth to be able to um, uh, loosen the chain. You remember these are our uh, spots where we can put tension on the chain. So I, I loosened on one side and completely took the bolt out so that I could pull this back and forth and it gave us enough slack to get the chain back on. Um, so then I put the bolt temporarily in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this up, keeping tension on the chain while I tighten. Um, and then we should be able to tighten these two at the bottom, put our cotter pin back in, and that should be it. Oh yeah, that thing took off on me. Um, I'll tell you what, the more I've worked on this lawnmower, the more modifications I've done to it, um, the more I've let the new enhancements I've done break in a little bit. I'm really liking this Predator engine I put on there. Um, this McLean has treated me really, really well so far. Any of the mistakes that have been made have been user error. Um, so lessons learned. Yes, it takes about an hour. As of right now, 12.52, started at 11.56. So probably takes 30 minutes for someone that knows what they're doing and has all the parts on, uh, in place. But for someone like us, who's trying to figure it out as we go, you're gonna have some things that you need to figure out. So uh, yeah, just allow yourself that time. An hour is perfect for the amount of time this takes. Um, is it easy to do? Yes. If you've worked on other parts of your McLean, you can knock this out in an hour, on the weekend, after work one day, whatever. It's easy, easy, easy to do. Like I said, I didn't need the soap and water. Um, I was able to slip them right on, on mine. I know other people have issues with that. So uh, look for some other videos on YouTube that mention that. Um, but that's it for today. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'm gonna go cut the grass. I'm gonna enjoy the day. We got beautiful weather. Um, fall is rolling in and I'm gonna soak it up. So. Hey, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Anything else, please let me know. Take care.